Now let's see what we got in the subreddit. History of adventure games. How this game controls your heartbeat. Pitch perfect 237. What, what the fuck is this? The first time I saw Pitch Perfect, it was it was 2013. I was a senior at a at a barber college. I was studying to become a barber, and I was writing my thesis on fine-toothed combs when my friends told me I had to see this movie, this new Anna Kendrick movie about a cappella competition. But Pitch Perfect was clearly her masterpiece. <laughs> also around this time, I was watching a lot of Room 237. Uh, which is a documentary about the hidden meanings in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. <laughs> that was when I started to really notice the parallels. <laughs> Pitch Perfect has nothing to do with Becca or Jesse or Chloe <laughs> or Aubrey. It's a film about and in protest against 9-11. <laughs> what, what do you mean in protest against? <laughs> Like, why would you need to be a hidden protester of 9-11? Everybody hates 9-11. It's, it's not like a crazy take. The Troublemakers, <laughs> the all-male group, they do a choreography of an airplane. Okay. There's a sign in the crowd that says, Acapella is my co-pilot. <laughs> and the Barden Bellas come out dressed as flight attendants. So then I went back and I started doing the math. So... The Troublemakers come out, and they have nine guys. Okay. Nine. Remember that number. <laughs> then the Barton Bellas come out. They have 11 ladies. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I mean, there is so some, there's something here. Perfect is about 9-11. So it's kind of a great scene in the movie. Everyone's singing Party in the USA. And, and then they stop singing Party in the USA because their bus runs out of gas. But it's also because <laughs> there was a party in the USA up until, say, September 10th, 2001, when the Bush administration decided that it was time to get more gas, i.e. oil. People don't realize this, but the entire screenplay is a palindrome. That's not true. That's not Kevin true. wants us to see something backwards so that we can understand it forwards. Take the song, turn the beat around. Mm -hmm. I think what Kendrick's doing here is asking us, nay, telling us to literally <laughs> turn the beat around. Turn beat around and you get Taib. <laughs> One Google search later and the first result is Hassan Taib, the head of the intelligence bureau for the army of the guardians of the Islamic revolution in Iran. Kendrick is waving her arms at us, telling us that we have it wrong. 9-11 was not perpetrated by the CIA. If anything, it seems like 9-11 was a carefully coordinated attack by Muslim extremists known as Al-Qaeda. That's not the, that's again, already the commonly the accepted. Is a but think about <laughs> what song everyone else sings. Uh -huh. Kelly Clarkson's Since You Been Gone. Kelly Clarkson, AKA American Idol. Yes. AKA American Idol, <laughs> AKA we did nothing to stop 9-11. More on that later. They're not all Connick Jr. Consider He's Becca's junior. romantic foil, uh, <laughs> Jesse, played by Skylar Aston. Take their two names. Skylar Aston Lipstein equals Judd Asher Nelson. That okay. equation, after you spend a few hours studying it, is actually an anagram for lost planes rained jihad in U.S. sky <laughs> equals R-S-T-L-N-E. <laughs> Those are the letters that you're not allowed to guess on the bonus round of Wheel of Fortune, which is on ABC, owned by Disney, and is hosted by none other than Pat... Pat Sajak! Oh, no! Oh, my God, I was stupid. Holy shit. I've seen Pitch Perfect 150 times. I watch it two times every day. Once when I wake up, once I go to bed, and I haven't noticed that. Um, how about, let's find another video. Cicada 3301, an internet mystery. Flying tanks, the terrifying genius of Mike Sparks. Cicada goes hard? I'll try. On the 4th of January, 2012, a user on 4chan posted this image to the site's infamous B or random board. The anonymous author, who went by the four-digit pseudonym 3301, challenged users to uncover a message hidden within the image. 
unbeknownst to those who stumbled across it, someone had just set in motion one of the most elaborate scavenger hunts the internet has ever seen. Within minutes of the image being posted, someone discovered that by opening the file using a text editor, an appended string of readable text could be found. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. The extracted information led to a subreddit, which in turn contained information about the book. The book, along with a code, could then be used to uncover a phone number Holy that, when shit. called, played this pre-recorded message. If all this ended with a troll face, it would be the greatest 4chan thing of all time. <laughs> If this is 17 minutes long of deciphering different codes and then it ends to a fucking link of a rickroll. <laughs> oh, that would be fucking fire. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Oh my God, this While is insanely while, complicated. Three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Damn, the music's fire in this. A growing community of armchair detectives sought to unravel this elaborate puzzle, but no one was quite sure what to make of it. Some naturally dismissed it as an elaborate <laughs> joke, while others perceived its complexity as evidence against it being the work of a mere troll. Before long, rumors began to circulate that this could be the work of some secret society or intelligence agency, with the intent of recruiting individuals proficient in cryptography, steganography, <laughs> and other related fields. The two missing numbers mentioned in the recording proved to be the dimensions of the original image. After multiplying the width and height with 3301 and using the product as a web address, users were taken to a website. The website consisted of a countdown as well as an image of a cicada. When the countdown reached zero, the page was updated with a list of coordinates. The coordinates pointed to locations around the globe, Jesus 14 Christ. locations in five different countries. At each location was a poster with a cicada symbol and a QR code. On the bike shelter over here. See, so I got a got her right there. Oh. The codes linked to an image, the image contained a riddle, the riddle led to a book, and the book led to a website. <laughs> But here, the puzzle took an unexpected turn. Only a select group of first arrivals to this website were accepted into the final stage of the puzzle. No help. <laughs> After nearly a month of silence, an image appeared on the subreddit announcing the conclusion of the puzzle, and just like that, the hunt was over. Cicada had supposedly found the highly intelligent individuals they were looking for, and whatever happened to them is a bit of a mystery, but more on that in a moment. However, as it later turned out, this was only the beginning. Mm. After a year of lackluster imitations, this image finally matched the official PGP signature. Cicada was back, and it was time for round two. Interesting. The second puzzle was not too dissimilar from the first. At one point, a recording titled The Instar Emergence was uncovered. This is on my gym playlist. Another clue led to a cryptic Twitter account, which then led to an image. The image proved vital to the progression of the puzzle, but the inclusion of this runic alphabet. Much like the first puzzle, the second swelled into the physical world when a list of coordinates compelled participants to once again take to the streets in search of enigmatic posters. Unlike the first puzzle, the second did not conclude with an official message from Cicada. The trail merely went cold, and Cicada vanished once What's more, happening to these leaving people? us no closer to an explanation. At the beginning of 2014, it was time for round three. This is in 2014. Once again, the image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced a link, and suffice it to say, it was more of the same. Except this time, the puzzle seemed to revolve around a strange- Bro, what if this is just Jeff Bezos trying to sell more books on Amazon? <laughs> you have to buy a copy of these shitty unsold books, dude. And if he moves an extra 14 units, it's worth it. The runic alphabet uncovered in 2013 finally made sense, as the book was primarily written 
in runes. Nevertheless, the book also comprised a myriad of Bunker. clues and codes. For example, this page advised participants to seek out a website on the deep web, but the site remains undiscovered. The runic text on some of the pages appear to be obfuscated by layers of encryption that has yet to be decrypted. Of the 74 pages featuring runes, only 19 have been successfully translated. More than four years have now gone by with minimal progress and near complete silence from Cicada. Damn, he's, they're probably Questions <laughs> raised by the original. What do they get it? The puzzle's so obvious. <laughs> they're not even looking at page 14. What is the purpose of these puzzles? Who's behind them? What happens when you reach the end? <laughs> What? Is this part of it? Many assume Cicada 3301 to be an alternate reality game designed by a corporation to promote a new service or product. What kind of fucking alternate reality game goes on for four years before announcing the product? There's no shot. It's the worst marketing I've ever heard. The Cyberpunk? <laughs> Shit. It could have been Cyberpunk, dude. If we choose to believe some of the leaked information from the private end stage of each puzzle, then we do gain some insight into who this group might be. For example, at the end of the first puzzle, finalists supposedly received this email. In it, Cicada described themselves as an international group who believe that privacy is an inalienable right. Okay, but then what about the recruits? Why have we not heard from these chosen few? Well, we have. Imagine finding a hidden puzzle, going through like weeks of cracking it, you know, fucking using the most insane giga brain cryptography to crack it, and then you get a fucking desk job at the Navy. <laughs> they offer you like 65k. <laughs> In a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, two alleged winners of the first puzzle chronicled the events beyond the final stage. After receiving an email from Cicada, they were taken to a forum on the dark web. They were told that Cicada 3301 had been founded by a group of friends who shared common ideals about security, privacy and censorship. The recruits were then tasked with developing software that fit the ideology of the group and members of Cicada would oversee their progress. But without the allure of a puzzle to be solved, the recruits quickly lost interest. <laughs> By the end of 2012, all but one had left. The so it's just unpaid labor? <laughs> it's worse than I said. It's worse. You made a whole bunch of puzzles to recruit smart people to do unpaid coding labor? Completing. Like, for example, I told Quack that I was actually a member of a secret society that was recruiting only the elite, most intelligent members. <laughs> And if he could solve the puzzle of how to edit my videos into 100,000 plus views, <laughs> then uh, he might be able to unlock the key. And so far, he's been really cracking on it. Nox Populi later contacted other winners of the second puzzle to compare notes, and their experiences were identical. In his own words, all the stories were the same. We were invited to join 3301, then something happened, and silence followed a request for patience. Couldn't they have just put a job listing on Monster <laughs> or like LinkedIn? I feel like they would have got a, a good number of developers <laughs> and could have actually started work on this project. I, they just needed to pay people. Cicada made their last public statement in April of 2017, merely warning against this information. But the current status of the third puzzle and the possibility of a fourth remains clouded in mystery. Damn, that was kind of fire. I'm sad it didn't come to a conclusion, though. <laughs>